Hello again everybody, welcome back to the Shinnok in DCS. Currently we're en route to go and drop a, a platoon of some sort into theatre and uh, I'm working with another Chinook pilot further up ahead in this through the Inferno server. No cast though. And uh, this brings us somewhat nicely on to episode 3 which is initially going to show you a couple of extra features like the RWR which is the countermeasure system, the aircraft survivability equipment and uh, then we're going to focus on how to approach some sort of landing. So it's keeping it all basic. You can then go and uh, enforce and enhance the learning over time, but it's just enough to get you started without uh, wiping out too many resources, perhaps on a multiplayer server like this. So RWR then, the chafe and uh, flare system. I've got a keybind set up for this, but basically down there, you've got the uh, red toggle for the dispenser. It's currently in the safe mode now. I can toggle that up to arm. Uh, at the moment, in this early access version, the bypass switch isn't a functionality, isn't enabled. But we then also have the RWR system there giving us missile uh, information and anti air data, and it will tell us if there's been a missile launched towards us as well. So, what you want to do in your CDU, you can use either uh, press index, brings up the index page, and then press power and go RWR on, which is LSK3, line select key 3. And then that's it, you'll hear the system power up and it will begin to identify fixed wing in the vicinity, it will identify uh, if you've got surface to air systems that are tracking you whilst you're flying en route for like a Kazavac for example, or whatever it might be, and then you can deal with that accordingly. There's also something called Bob and uh, Bob is effectively a very rudimental autopilot hover system. If I was to enable it now with a keybind that I've got set, I've got a toggle Bob enable disable switch sorted out on my stick. Um, effectively what it would do is it just yank the stick back and probably end up crashing me. You want to transition into almost a hover and when you're almost in a hover at a nice slow speed you want to toggle Bob on and that'll allow you then to kind of get head down and deal with whatever you want to deal with um, whether it be dropping external cargo uh, so on and so forth so a pretty cool feature to have that takes uh, some of the workload off you without having a multi-crew environment third little tip and trick is the overlay so we mentioned before about turning the map on like so you can actually now having inserted a waypoint which we're en route towards to drop this little platoon off, you can press overlay down the bottom in the middle and it'll give you a lot of options so you, we at the moment have selected flight plan and that gives us a nice track line for our flight plan um, if you wanted a range ring you can do that as well which is a really good way of trying to assess how far you are from a certain waypoint if you've added them in and if you're tracking AVFs, uh, VORs and so on you'll be able to work that out too and get your bearings displayed on here which is really cool. So that's the third thing that I wanted to show you really. There's the RWR just as an example. So it's telling us there's a fixed wing two o'clock over there. In all likelihood it will be a friendly. Another great tip is the progress page. So you want to go index, press progress, and you can see the waypoint that you're en route to, a bearing and a distance and a time to go as well. Next, landing. It's actually fairly simple in the Chinook, but it is all about, like an, uh, an aeroplane, uh, energy management. At the moment it's a fast helicopter, we're routing towards a waypoint to try and drop a load of troops in to go and assist or something that's going on and we want to 
lead the speed off nice and accurately so that we are almost into like transition at hover about 30 knots prior to reaching that waypoint. There's a bit of a knack to it and it will take quite a few attempts but we'll work through that. So in the town just up ahead we've got some friendlies uh, with some hostiles engaged. So to land I'm going to begin to kind of drop us a bit low into theatre here. And I'm already now starting to bring the nose up and I'm also bringing the power back a little bit, the thrust control lever, so you can see that speed. We're trying to maintain our pitch and our altitude but the speed is now starting to scrub away. And I'm doing it fairly early. Bad guys are near the river, so I'm kind of coming in behind our friendlies. Down to 90 odd knots. I'm scrubbing the speed right off now because they're in this little bunker here. This town area. Don't want to be too high. And actually this field just up ahead is perfect. So look, bringing that down all the time. In fact, this one is better because it's really close to the good guys. Just now small, 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 small adjustments. 22 knots currently. Look, so we're now kind of transitioning now into a landing phase. And I'm just increasing the power. I was trying to hold the pitch where it is at the moment. Just to make sure when we touch down, it's nice and smooth. There we go, rear wheels first, then the front wheels, and we can then bring the power down. And then with the ramp down, we can drop off the troops and assist in the fight. And that's it. A load of handy tips and tricks to help you gain confidence with the mighty Chinook and uh, a little bit of a landing tutorial as well to give you a bump start. So hit like, hit subscribe, share your thoughts, tips, tricks as always, and I'll see you next time. Take care, thanks for watching.